Welcome back YouTube. In today's video we have season 3 patch notes for multiverses. They just dropped and there's a lot to get into so we're not going to be able to go over every single uh, patch note but we will scroll through it so you guys can pause and um, look over the parts that you do want for each character and whatnot. Alright let's get started. Season 3 begins. There's a new season 3 battle pass now available. New character of the day is saved. The Powerpuff Girls fly into multiverses to smack down some baddies and save Townsville. They are available as part of the pre Premium Season 3 Battle Pass. Alright, so it looks like the Powerpuff Girls are only um, Season 3 new character, at least on Day 1. That could change over time. Rifts, the nap time is over. PVE Rift is now available. So we got some new Rifts, some Rift updates. And then Ranked, if you have a character in Diamond slash Master, other characters will be adjusted to Silver 5 slash Gold 5 on their first game, respectively. Fixed a bug causing RP calculation to read in accurate skill ratings. Defeating players of a higher tier than you now has a higher minimum RP gain before. Okay. And losing, same. Nice. Some good changes. The way rank was working at the very end of the Season 2 was like um, pretty good after they fixed the bug. Unranked plus ranked, we now use open skill to calculate MMR instead of a customized version of Calico for matchmaking. Sounds good to me. New maps, Midnight Showing, Midnight Showing 1v1, Dexter's Lab 2 1v1. I wonder what the new Dexter's are going to look like, and I'm hyped for the Gremlin stages. General, updated several map elements to support controller rumble feedback. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Um, controller vibration was turned off for a bit, I believe. Chrom's floating platform increased. Dexter fixed several issues affecting gameplay. Oh wait, Dexter's won. I forgot that was even a thing. New 2v2 variant is added with 20% map size increase. Oh my god, that's literally what I needed. That's what I was asking for. Teen Titans Tower Blast Box with increased 5%. Nice, that's good. Throne Room fixed. Tree Fort changes on all here on all the maps if you want to look. Ranked map. 1v1 map pools. Dexter's Lab has replaced with Dexter's Lab 2. Okay. Sky Arena, 2v2 changes, unranked map pools, the training will be receiving improvements, alright, this is, this is huge. Training mode will be receiving improvements to the user experience and user interface beginning with the Season 3 patch. We're looking to improve the ease of use and provide optimal training conditions. Added hit stun combo counter, yes, I missed that. Improved timing when resetting and training mode. Changed bot behavior to not return to spawn location, to not return the spawn, okay. General combat changes. This is where it's going to get a lot. And so we're going to scroll through everything. We're not going to read everything. And then you guys can pause and read as you wish. We're looking to increase fighter movement in the air to improve feel. Allow more approach options and increase player skill expression. Thank you. I love this. This is, this is going to be the best fighter in the world in two years from now. It might not even take that long. But like in two years, it's going to be the best in the world. No bias. Character specific movement changes are listed in the character patch notes. All right, we can read that if you'd like. Additional changes, wall, ceiling, terrain bounces no longer count as terrain bounces for auto tech. Nice, okay, that's a good change. I like that one. New general perk, broken wings. Perk text, if you get knocked back while you have, oh my God, wait, new perks? Wait, wait. Broken wings, if you get knocked back, if you get knocked back while you have no jumps remaining, gain an extra jump. Wait, it's like, um, isn't that like Brawlhalla? I forget how you, um, when you regain your jump. New general perk, blind spot guard. If an enemy dodges your melee attack, briefly gain some gray health. If an enemy dodges your melee attack. Wait, so if they dodge your melee attack, you gain health? Wait, that's kind of crazy. If I'm reading that right. All right, characters, buffs, nerfs, changes. This is as well where I'm gonna, I'm gonna read what interests me at the point and just some things that stand out and then you just pause on which character you wish, because it's, it's, there's a lot of changes. Agent Smith, with the introduction of the tech system, we have improved Agent Smith's combo routes. Nice. So it looks like they gave Smith some more combos. Aria, uh-oh, would get scary. Fix an issue where certain props would disappear. Air neutral attack. Uh, they didn't change her too much, at least initial just glance. Banana Guard was very focused on aerial approaches to do everything, while the ground game was very limited to just KO options. We have improved his gameplay to allow more combo routes and a more unique approach for Banana Guard to explore. I love that. 
give the spear guy some more chances. Um, Batman. Batman has always had a focus of being a combo based character, however his approach game became very focused around dash attack and aerial down special. This led to multiple changes which slowed his play down or buried Batman's combo game being dodge boosted attacks. We have redesigned Batman's combat to allow more dynamic gameplay which allows players to find success at all levels of play. Yeah, I was um not particularly satisfied with the way Batman's played at the end of the season, so I hope they get um, some cool mix-ups. That would be nice. Beetlejuice, we have introduced new combo routes to Beetlejuice to explore his grounded gameplay. We have also improved his ability to approach with the combo starter in the air and expand on his gameplay beyond his strength and jab. Okay, and there's his changes, if you want to pause there. Black Adam was very difficult to contest at range. Dude, Black Adam drove me crazy. What about you guys? Or behind a partner. These changes are to address some of the dominance Black Adam had with stage control. Nice, nice. Bugs Bunny. Wait, I kind of want to read these. Ground side attack. Hitbox size reduced, so the attack is less likely to hit behind. Yes. Throwing a pie no longer destroys pies that have been reflected by em enemies. Now air neutral attack. So this is Nair. Now maintains less momentum in the direction opposite Bugs Bunny facing during. Yeah. <clears throat> I'll pretend like I know what that meant. I'm stupid. Um, Alright, so there's Bugs changes. Now Finn. Finn has a singular focus of carrying the opponents to the blast zone quickly due to many of his best combos being aerial based. This patch will address the power behind the backpack strength and some prevention to guaranteed carries. Sounds good to me. Give him some sauce. Take away the cheese. Garnet, oh my god, look at the, yeah, see, I, I don't want to read all this, but you guys pause where you would like. Garnet was experience of, experiencing a few gameplay issues that were leading to combos dropping or facing difficulties in matches contesting faster characters. We have improved the combo routes and added armor to some moves and improved the attack to speed on some Garnet's approaches. Did they fix the star thing where they, she could carry you out there? Fix an issue where Garnet's could spawn a star? Okay, yeah, thank you. Cool. Nice. Nice, nice. W changes. And there's Garnets again if you want to pause. Gizmo. Oh my god, little guy, little patch. Um, Gizmo had some changes. Harley Quinn. Uh oh. We're gonna we're gonna read all these. <coughs> Skip ahead if you wish. <sighs> General fixed an issue where confetti debuff stacks would increase when victims were hit by their own allies allies. Wait. Their teammates would make I don't even, I didn't even know that was a thing. Grounded up attack, so up tilt. On with cancel window delayed nine frames. That's reasonable. Startup window after charge. Increased one frame so that the attack is less likely to hit behind Harley. Okay, sounds good to me. Ground down attack. Is this her slide? Grounded down attack. Now more reliably combos into ground down attack two. Okay. Nair. Oh my god. Now maintains less momentum when executed after dodging off a platform ledge to prevent a bug that was causing unintentional extreme travel speed. It's still fast. Cool. Now maintains more momentum when executed as part of a dodge attack. Lovely. Let's go. On hit cancel window. Delayed seven frames. On hit cancel window so does that mean I can't nair into Sarah anymore like I can't combo out of nair is that what is that what that's saying can someone come on something no please air side attack now maintain more momentum during the attack startup let's go air down attack fix certain projectile clank interactions nice now maintains more momentum when executed as part of a dodge attack thank you it was almost like Useless dodge, uh, dodge daring with Harley, in my opinion. I tried implementing it. Air ground neutral special fix certain projectile clank interactions. Yes. Air ground side special fix. Okay. Fix an issue where the projectile would be destroyed if Harley was interrupted. They didn't fix her bugs. Wait. No way they didn't fix her. I don't think they fixed her box and bomb bug, unfortunately. Hopefully, it's just to make it in the patch notes, it still got fixed. IG. Iron Giant has many changes to knockback angles. Yes. 
dodge boosted attack windows on hit and adjustments to rage mode in this patch the focus is to create new combo routes that have a finisher without allowing longer extensions that guarantee offstage carries the rage mode changes will also address the dominance a team gain during this time frame awesome because ig strong as ever jake oh my god jake wait all right We'll read what they said, and then you guys can pause and read what you would, what you like. While strong from a distance, Jake was lacking in ways to approach the opponents outside of using his bite command grab that led to a significant reward. We have improved on Jake's grounded gameplay to allow for better boxing tools and allow, and also improved knockback angles on some aerial attacks to allow for more aggressive combo starters. Okay, okay, Jake's getting some love. <coughs> Excuse me. Whew. These are quite some notes. All right, that's Jake's. You can pause where you'd wish. Oh my God, let me scroll a little slower, so you guys. There you go. Those are Jake's patch notes. Now Jason. <coughs> Jason was really strong at the end. Air neutral attack. Okay, you guys can read that as you'd like. LeBron without basketball was too difficult to find success with. I agree. I I couldn't even win with the ball. <laughs> Leading matches to focus on a more passive gameplay or trying to keep the basketball as often as possible. We have improved many attacks involving the no basketball stance, so LeBron will feel more fun to play. Awesome, honestly. I wouldn't even mind LeBron being top one, top two. That's just He's just a fun character. Also, with the introduction to the grounded tech system, we have added more ways for LeBron to ground bounce opponents for combo starters. Cool. These are a lot of notes, so pause as you would wish to read. Those were LeBron's. Now I got Marvin. While success from successful from a distance, Marvin was lacking ways to properly box with opponents in a meaningful way. I can agree. Marvin was annoying, but not great, in my opinion. We have improved Marvin's overall combo game and made him easier to for a new player to pick up and try. Cool. This includes a return to his neutral special button being an act of part of the way. I love this. Wait, I love that was my favorite part about playing Marvin. Literally my favorite part was his button. <laughs> Uh, Marvin was also experiencing moments where projectiles would not hit an opponent after dodging it at any time. We're looking into a fix for this upcoming patch. Cool. And here's Marvin's. Morty. Morty's patch notes. Raindog is a character who is meant to have success as a teammate, but was lacking enough utility to bring to a team compared to others. In our latch pass patch, we improved on Raindog's combo game. Okay. And then there's Raindog's description. Rick has seen in... Rick has seen recent improvements to special attacks, and with this patch, we are improving Rick's overall combo. Bro, Rick is so good already. Rick is going to be amazing. People are going to have fun with him. In seasons prior, we saw a main focus on usage of Rick's jab, so we have improved his other tools. Nice. Here's Rick changes. With the introduction of the tech system, we have added more attacks that lead to ground bounces for combo starters. Okay, and these are Samurai Jack's patch notes. Oh my god, some shaggy changes. Shaggy's notes. Steven Universe's changes. Here we have Stripes changes. Followed by Superman's. Then we got Taz. As well as the Joker. Oh gosh. There's Joker changes. I know you guys want to see those. Tom and Jerry. You know, description for this one. A majority of Tom and Jerry's focus revolved around using up attack as the all or nothing attack option due to its reward for hitting that's that's very safe to say all right this led to gameplay in which passive play was a primary choice until you could hit a f attack with the up attack all right so gave tom and jerry some sauce outside of that sounds good to me then there's tom's patch notes velma we have velma's notes right here velma was in a really solid spot at the end of season two i think and then finally, Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman air side attack now maintains less momentum when executed after dodging off a platform. Okay, okay. She, she did have some extreme travel speed sometimes. It's still fast. Air down attack now maintains more momentum during attack startup. Solid change. Solid change. And that is your season three patch notes. Season three drops in just a few hours from when this video should be going live. If you guys are interested, we should be live streaming the release at twitch.tv slash hustle. 
tune in. There should be new Twitch drops for it. I appreciate you guys, and see you soon.